Crystal D, host uh, of the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Let oh, me have my life. So I didn't realise we were doing bios. <laughs> oh. Hello, I'm Crystal D, host of The Fan Show. Uh, and I'm Luke Spillan. I am Grandpa Who on The Fan Show. Yes. Uh, we thought we'd finally do one of these because our producer let us. Yay! Quick questions. Yay! Oh, I'm going to have to say the 10th Doctor because he, he's my doctor. Oh, and like, yeah. I, I feel like I should choose somebody else because he's like someone who's not my favourite doctor. But... Um, my doctor is the 10th doctor and i know that it could end up bad like i could end up like donna or separated in the parallel world like rose mm. but you know i just think it would be so much fun yeah yeah he is it would fun. be so yeah. much fun yeah i'm kind of the same i think growing up i'd always wanted to travel with peter davison but now uh, with the fifth doctor but now i think the 11th doctor i just mm. because of that same reason but yeah. for me like the 10th doctor i just feel like he'd just get a bit too emotional around me and i'm just like well just it pull depends. yourself together man and yeah. depends what it depends, depends what time period of exactly the doctor you're traveling if you with. catch him but early me, if you catch him early it's quite yeah. fun if you catch him late yeah. he's a bit emo I'd love I'm lost in a time lost. <laughs> yeah yeah i wouldn't want him in that sort of tunnel victory i think 10th doctor far. if i could get 10th doctor and rose for yeah. reasons uh, then that would be lovely. But uh, other than that, I'd love to travel with the 11th Doctor. Yeah. I know the answer to this one for me. What's yours? I'm going to say Ace. Wow. And the reason why is because I feel like she's quite similar to me mm. in many ways um, in terms of her temperament. A lot, yeah. a lot, a lot to do with that. And um, and. Yeah, I, I, and the I fact that feel you carry Nitro Nine in your bag. All basically, the time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see that. You're very ace. Yeah. yeah. Uh, weirdly, I think mine is probably Rose. Really? I think. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe just upbringing and background. Yeah. I just kind of feel like. Yeah, I don't know. Because of, of the the London. Yeah, I think a lot of my friends would say Adric, but that's maybe more oh. more aesthetic reasons. Oh. I I, thanks. <laughs> Most scared of. I can't believe we ask people oh, these questions every week I know. and now. I just don't know the well, answer. Once you get asked, it's hard. Most scared of. Oh, I mean. I know. Are we going to say the same thing? Oh, well, I. Let's try anyway. Three, two, one. <laughs> the <masks> Daleks. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember the Not name. Not at all. <laughs> oh. Gas mask people. Yeah, the gas, oh, uh, gas yeah, mask people in the empty child because to this day um, I can't look at Mr. Constantine's mm. face with yeah. the gas mask exploding and the the, the, ch the children walking around, all of it. I mean, that was my first episode yeah. uh, of Doctor Who that I ever saw oh. and to this day scares the living day. Wow, something. next Halloween I'm going to take you to the Imperial War Museum. Damn. You'd, you'd oh. love it. Uh, I think I'd go with the Daleks just because they are so terrifying. Yeah, like I, yeah. They just, I always think, like for me, the Daleks always get uh, undermined. I think they're just so, they are the mm. archetype of terrifying Doctor Who monster. Yeah. I just find them, uh, you can't read them, they're, they're just terrifying. They're tanks. Yeah. They'd obliterate me. <laughs> uh, well, I know yours. Because I've said it a million times. Yours, because I've heard it <laughs> in every interview I've read with you or seen with you. Yours is The Empty Child, mm -hmm. because you just stumbled upon that series with The Empty Child. And you started watching that. Was it when it was? Yeah, it was when it was on. And then it terrified you since, and yep. you just couldn't stop watching. Yep. And you were so scared, but yep. you couldn't take your eyes off yep. it. You know, like when you love being oh, terrified. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Basically, that's yours. That's yours. Well remembered. Do you know what mine is? Ooh, you must have said at some point, but yeah, yeah. it escapes me. Mine is the Keep of Traken. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine is the Keep of Traken. Uh, that's the first one I remember seeing because I remember seeing the VHS cover and I saw, uh, it was like, oh, there's a thing on it, like a robot with red eyes and that wasn't actually a robot at all in the episode. And it just looked really interesting. And I remember getting that VHS out. I might've seen one before that, but it's the first one I remember. And still mm. to this day, one of my favorite stories I'm weirdly obsessed with it. I called my cat Melka. <laughs> Melka is the... Oh! Yeah. Yeah. A lot of black and white for me, because I find black and white yeah. really cosy. Yeah, black and white's cosy. I like to watch episodes that are quite silly and light-hearted, like The Five Doctors. Yeah, I, that's um, brilliant. Dimensions in Time. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> the canonical <laughs> I went there. Dimensions I went in there. Time. I went there. Wow, God, okay. So enjoyable, though. 
Uh, I, yeah, for me, black and white. But then, uh, I mean, if it's not like an unearthly, like that's that's kind of a go-to episode that I watch so many times. Uh, but then, yeah, a lot of classic Who. You're right, Five Doctors. But then maybe like Go in the Fireplace or yeah. a Christmas special or something like that, like Seeds of Death. For me, I really like Seeds of Death, mm. Trout and Ice Warrior Story, something like that. Lots of black and white. Yeah. And all the Peter Cushing films. <gasps> <gasps> Shock horror. <gasps> he said it at the end, so they might cut it out. <gasps> I, I wouldn't go to the future purely because the future scares me. I agree, I agree I wouldn't go to the future. But I'm fascinated by the past. Me too. And uh, I'm particularly fascinated by the 80s yep. and the 90s. I would go back to see the Pet Shop Boys in concert yeah. um, in nine, 1989. Yeah. Um, I, I would see them on their first tour. That's a good shout, doing like music gigs. and yeah, 100%, yeah. 100%. Uh, maybe in a similar vibe, I, I first of all would love to go to uh, like Tudor England or Victorian England, but I mm. find that that would probably be too scary and have to take all sorts of jabs. Uh, so yeah. I'd maybe go to 60s London, oh, that's probably my favourite yes. period. I mean London, it would always be London, uh, 60s London. How long you got? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Go oh on, God. Go on. I Well, I am a man. I am a man. <laughs> <laughs> Shot of horror. There's your news. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Done. Done. You can stop commenting. <laughs> Answered. Crystal D answers your question. <laughs> Done. Done. There's your. Oh Christmas God! Present. I hope I've cleared that up. Oh. I hope. I hope you know. No that more. Will go no in more comments. A Christmas no reel more comments. Someday, somewhere. <laughs> I am one of these people who basically get really into stuff. Yeah. Like I've always been, uh, uh, since like the, the age of 11, before that, like if I'm into something, I'm really into something. Yeah. Um, I like lots of things. Um, yeah. I like old TV shows, particularly London's Burning. I think yeah. it's absolutely fantastic. A um, fan uh, big fan of 80s music, big fan of uh, electronic music. Uh, the, I guess the biggest thing, apart from Doctor Who, the other thing that sort of means a lot at personal level is the Pet Shop Boys, who are my heroes yeah. and, um, and idols. And so I love the Pet Shop Boys. Like, that is the thing that I, I collect. I collect vinyls, I collect um, CDs and stuff, and mm. like go to the shows and stuff. I'm You've fan of lots list. of things. I might have to stop because yeah. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let. <laughs> well, you I've speak. got some similar ones. I'm kind of like a lot of old TV. When I'm not living mm. and breathing Doctor Who, because I mean, only, I'm only a fan of Doctor Who. But if I'm not living and breathing that, it's a lot of, and it's not if it's not cats or trains, then um, it's mainly like old television yeah. and old films and stuff. Like a lot of, uh, I love the Avengers and. Uh, whether it's Thunderbirds or Captain Scarlet or whatever, I love lots of old tap that's brilliant yeah. and kind of as magical as Doctor Who is in a sort of nostalgic way. Uh, and then Star Wars and a lot of kind of superhero stuff. Don't go off and present London's Burning the Fan Show. Oh, can I? Aww. Thanks for watching. These are our quick questions. If you'd like to see some more quick questions, here's a playlist of all those. And don't forget to subscribe to the official Doctor Who channel. <laughs> and you can subscribe to this channel, our secret second channel, yes. Doctor Who the Fan Show channel. See you in 2017. Bye. Bye. I'm a man.